camping we will go, a camping I will go, la 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 la, a camping I will go, woo hoo hoo hoo, I'm so happy I can't wait to get there. Well hello Mr. Turtle, on the road to Rain Lake, hi buddy. Good morning, it is 7.30 a.m. on Friday, June 11th, and I am here at the Access to Rain Lake. I'm getting ready to get my canoe in the water and go out on my first backcountry camping trip of 2021. I am so excited. I'm gonna go unload, I'm the only one here. Um, I came really early today so that uh, I wouldn't have to worry about dealing with the crowds. And uh, I'm gonna get this done and get on the water and then uh, I'll film a bit more later. Well, good morning. I am all packed up and ready to go. I just got to park my car and get my water socks and my water shoes on and uh, I'm on my way. I'm at the Rain Lake Access in Algonquin Park. There are lots and lots of bugs out. Um, they're buzzing around me, um, not really biting me yet, but I am covered in permethrin and DEET and I do have my bug shelter. Um, I'm going to get on the water as soon as I can and get out of here. Um, before the hordes of people show up uh, to go along with the hordes of bugs. <laughs> oh, I left a little note for my fellow campers and uh, up I go. Oh, it's 7.45 and I am on the water. Lots of bugs out, just kind of hovering. I'm sure that my uh, big long portage or portage is going to be very buggy. Um, but that's okay. Good morning, loonies. Happy camping day. Good morning. Well, good morning. I am on the water. I'm on Rain Lake. I'm so happy. Um, I'll tell you a quick little uh, summary of what's happening and what I'm doing. Um, we are now finally allowed to go camping in Ontario. Um, I haven't been camping in seven months. Uh, today is the first day um, they open uh, here. So um, I had a reservation at the Halliburton Highland Water Trails um, and they canceled it two weeks ago, assuming that it was still gonna be closed. And when I contacted them, they said they're not gonna open now till Monday. So on Monday, when they made the announcement that we were going to be allowed to camp on Friday, uh, I went on to the Ontario Parks website and looked at a bunch of places and the campsites just bing, 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 just started disappearing. It was insane. Um, so I decided to book Jubilee Lake, uh, which is a really cute little small lake. Um, there's Rain Lake, uh, there's one more, I can't remember the name of it right now, and then there's Jubilee. And uh, small lake, about six campsites on it and I thought, this looks cute, let's do this. There were two portages going in, so nice first trip, you know. Um, I've been doing a few portages day tripping, but you know, it's just with my small backpack. I haven't been like portaging uh, much equipment and stuff, but anyways, I have been practicing. So um, all was fine and good. And then Wednesday night, I went to take a look at the map and see how the reservations were going. And every single lake was fully booked rain, uh, the one in between, and um, Jubilee. And I thought, that's going to be a lot of people. I'm going to get to the put-in, it's going to be packed, there's going to be so many people, All, everyone is full. And then I look and here's McCraney sitting there, and it's green. And uh, I had been debating whether or not to go there. Um, so basically to get to McCraney from rain, uh, it's a short paddle, and then um, it's an 1800 meter portage into McCraney. And that's probably why it wasn't fully booked, because who wants to do that, right? Um, but I've done the portage from McCraney to Rain, and it's not that bad. And uh, I thought, you know what? I would rather just paddle a little bit by myself early in the morning, and then jump on this portage, 
you know, it'll probably take me about an hour and a half because I double carry. And then uh, I'll be on McCraney. McCraney has 10 campsites. Um, there's still some open. And it's probably like five, six, seven times the size of Jubilee. So that way, at least I'll have some more privacy and uh, it'll be a little bit more remote because I like, you know, being out here alone. And um, I know I'm not going to get that, but, um, you know, I thought that would be the closest. So that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully it all works out. Well, as forecast, it is raining now. Um, it's really light rain. I can barely even feel it. Uh, I do have my raincoat out. But it is about 17 degrees this morning, and uh, I'm feeling quite comfortable in just what I have on now. All right, it is 8.15. It took me 30 minutes, so I would say it's approximately three kilometers, but I was filming and stuff a little bit, so maybe two and a half. Um, and I am at the Portage from Rain to McCraney, 1,810 meters. Here we go. We're off. So well, it's 8.25. I uh, brought the pack up to the top of the hill here so I can just come and grab it. And uh, whew. Well, it was a steep hill, but not as steep as I remembered it. All right, pack, I'll be back. Well, I'm not doing this portage alone. There are lots of bugs here with me hanging out. Um, I don't think they're biting yet. Just buzzing around, but I do have my nice fluffy mesh hat on uh, just in case I need to pull it down. But uh, so far so good. We'll see. Hopefully it keeps up. Well, it's been six minutes. <laughs> my shoulders are already sore and I'm like, why did I do this? But that's okay. I am now uh, encompassed in bugs. They are all inside the canoe here with me. If I stay still, you can hear them. Just hordes, hordes and hordes and hordes. Yeah, good times. Well, it's been 10 minutes and uh, man, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> my shoulders and my neck are just killing. Like I wanna put the canoe down right now. Um, I looked at my Avenza map uh, for Algonquin and uh, I can see myself on the portage um, and uh, it looks like I'm two-thirds of the way through it which is really weird because it's supposed to be 1800 meters and uh, that should take me at least 30 minutes maybe longer I think it took me 30 minutes last time so I'd be surprised to see uh, be interested to see how long it takes me to get to the other end and uh, if I can actually make it. Oh. 21 minutes after I left the portage at Rain Lake, I am, believe it or not, at McCraney. And uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. Right, it is 8.53 and uh, just put the canoe down kind of sideways here, a little bit sheltering, uh, put my PFD in there and uh, I have my bear vault with me on this trip uh, so the food is in here so just made sure the lid was secure and uh, that's all locked up so I'm going back to get my pack and the bugs are insane. And just like at Rain Lake, when I got into the Axis, there are two loons sitting here on McCraney waiting to say hello. Hello. It is buggy. I got a couple bites on my hands already. Oh, I'm just on my way back to Rain Lake Access. 
to get my backpack. Uh, my raincoat is also there. Um, it is raining quite a bit now. Uh, about halfway through the portage going uh, with the canoe, it started raining quite a bit. Um, but I'm really protected here and uh, I'm not even really feeling it much. Uh, I've just got a little bit of water on my, my thighs, on my pants. And the rest of me is fine. It's a long portage, but it's uh, fairly flat and simple, except for going up the hill to get up to the start. Um, it's really level and uh, it's a really great portage. Oh yeah, I'm very buggy, but besides that, it's okay. So I am still doing the intermittent fasting. Uh, Wednesday marked two weeks and uh, I'm seeing really great results. Uh, I've lost five pounds and I've lost 9.75 inches off of my various body parts, like my thighs and my butt, and my chest and my tummy and my biceps. <laughs> so uh, really happy with it. Uh, I didn't want to break it today. I knew I was gonna be doing this big portage um, and I was worried that I wasn't gonna have enough energy um, but I feel perfectly fine and at this point I know I can do it without um, having anything. I'm super excited to see these on my path today. I saw them when I was carrying the canoe and I almost stopped to grab my phone and I'm like, just film it on your way back. Five of them here, six of them here. Just beautiful. Apparently stopping isn't a good idea. I am just like covered in bugs. Oh, my pace has slowed down quite a bit. I was booting through here when I didn't have the pack on, but with the pack, I'm like just dumbling along here. Might take me a little longer than 20 minutes, but I don't care. Woohoo! 9.40 and I am here. See, when I did it last time, I kept going. It says cart trail. Ooh, I can't stop here. <laughs> bugs, bugs, bugs. All right, we are here on my lake for the weekend. Let's go see what kind of trouble I can get into. Well, it's 9.45 and I am at McCraney Lake and I'm about to make my way through and go check out some campsites. Absolutely stunning out here on McCraney Lake. I'm so happy to be here. Hi guys, good morning. Very quiet. I haven't heard any this morning. The ones I passed earlier, like when I first got here, they made a little huh, huh, but that was it. These guys are quiet. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. See you later. Have a nice day. Oh, I've got a little something. No, I've got it on Zoom. Just so you guys know, I'm not this close. What a big difference. Alrighty, not a big deal, we'll do this real quick.
bugs, Batman. <laughs> Thought it was a nice spot to take a picture while I was making the video. I did a couple of stills so I could screenshot them. And uh, the bugs thought it was a great idea too because they were like, yum. <sighs> beautiful, so beautiful. I'm really excited to see this lake calm. I don't know if it's going to be calm. Um, but I'm hoping it is. I'm just entering the opening uh, of McCraney Lake um, where it starts to get a little bit wider. And um, it looks pretty calm. I'm super excited. Um, it is raining still, or again, whatever. Um, but it's not bad. I can barely feel it actually. It's really light and uh, the, the drops are pretty much drying on my pants. Like seconds after they land so it's not too bad at all so I'm just making my way to a bunch of campsites here um, this is the third one down on the map on the left side when you're coming into McCraney one two three yeah um, I think the next one might be kind of cool because there's a there's a creek right around the, the corner from it and uh, there's like water in behind it. It looks kind of neat like a nice place that I could explore tomorrow but I mean I could do that from any of the other sites too. Uh, it's a Stutter Creek. So there's a campsite here. I'm going to take a peek and then I'm going to go over to the other side of the island and look at that and uh, the other one on this side and it's down a bit. Not good for the bugs. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's overgrown. Wow. Look at Tamagami campsite. <laughs> oh, there. The fire pit is up in the up in the rocks here. Right in behind there. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> Well, I've gone quite a bit a ways past where the campsite was supposed to be. <laughs> um, this is the one like closest to Stutter Creek. And um, I haven't seen a sign or anything that even remotely resembles a campsite. Okay, I'm gonna go check out this uh, island site. Um, the only thing that worries me about that is, again, I don't know if anyone else is booked on this lake tonight or tomorrow. Um, for one, so um, for two, someone could be like, oh, a lot of people like island sites because they think they're like safer, like for bears and stuff. And bears can swim really, really well, but I kind of feel that way too. Like I get that kind of an idea that, you know, it's a little bit harder for them to get to you. So I would think that that would be a popular campsite for like, you know, a family with little kids or something so they can go swimming. Um, so that's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about, and, and the other thing is, someone can come up to the island and go, oh, I want the island site, and they can take the one on the other side. So like we're actually on the same piece of land. Like There's so many campsites out here, and I don't think there's gonna be a ton of people, so I just wanna kind of spread out from everybody else. All right, I'm at the island site, um, the far side from where I came from. Uh, the tree that has the campsite sign on it has fallen over. I'm assuming that's happened recently um, and then uh, I haven't been able to see that other campsite sign but I'm assuming it's right there where that beach is so um, this is tucked right in I don't know I'm gonna get out and take a look at this one it's uh, pretty grassy it's interesting it's got rocks and it's got grass so I don't know oh, this is pretty cute um, you know there's a uh, a campsite in behind there, but there's all these trees blocking it, which is kind of nice. And there's this nice little area in here um, where I could put my chair there. Um, I believe the sun, the afternoon sun, comes from over here. Um, but there's all these rocks too. I don't want to sit on rocks all the time, but um, you know, if there's a flat spot for the chair, that'd be great. I believe that other campsite is right over here. Uh, I don't see a sign, um, but it could be like this one. Maybe it's down, but I think it's right there, and there's a little beach, but it doesn't look that amazing, so maybe no one will come and take it. Um, all these nice little, like, rock outcrops and stuff. Apparently my boat is, I don't know, talking to me. 
Um, anyways, let's go up and see what's, what's over here. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> I don't know, something in the boat just moved all by itself, you know. Um, okay. Nice piece of driftwood, eh? It's beautiful. Easy to get out of the canoe. That was nice. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, fell right over. Big tree, too. Wow. Very overgrown, but uh, oh, nobody's been here. That's a huge fire pit. Um, I'm not sure if this is all of it. <laughs> Oh, and it's a brand new one, yeah. Oh, there's a little trail going, I don't know where. Out this way. It was a lot closer than I thought it was. I was like halfway past the island, all through in there. And this is another lookout. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Another tent spot, maybe. Okay, I was like, there's no privy. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, brand new one, yay. Oh, now there's lady slippers. I love those. I'm really starting to get hungry. It's getting close to 12, so I have to make a decision. Well, I think I found my home for the weekend. Um, I've been walking around, checking it out and uh, I heard a loon call, which is kind of like a sign to me. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna grab my bag and set up and uh, have some lunch because I'm getting really hungry now. Ah, oh, as hungry as I am, doing all that I've done today without food, <laughs> um, I still decided to set up the bug shelter first. Uh, I started getting my, I brought my pack up, I brought the food bag up, and then the bugs started coming around and buzzing at me and I thought I'm gonna sit here and start making lunch and either it's gonna start raining on me or the bugs are just gonna start like swarming me and I'm gonna be miserable so it took me like not even 20 minutes to do all the things so uh, today I have some wraps I brought a couple of wraps and brought some extra ones just in case um, I'm gonna start out with one because <laughs> I'm not a little piggy um, and I have some tuna, and this is actually from Canada. Um, I got this at Walmart. This is wild skipjack tuna, mayonnaise, and chives. So I'm gonna have that. I brought a couple of packages of the tuna too, because I wasn't sure, like they look kind of small, but the wraps are kind of small too. Um, and again, I haven't eaten since seven o'clock last night, so pretty hungry. And then I have a whole bunch of mayonnaise packets that I picked up at Wendy's over the winter and like, you know, whenever I go through Huntsville, I grab um, some uh, mayonnaise packets from there. Um, yeah. And I have some cucumber to put on the wrap, and I also have some Havarti cheese. It was just left over from uh, some sandwich stuff that I made last week. So Havarti, uh, mayonnaise, cucumber, and uh, tuna. So should be pretty good. And then I pulled this out of the bear vault too, because I figured I deserve a treat. <laughs> I did a lot of work this morning, so. All right, let's get going. I'm hungry. Some meal on there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's my wrap. Oh, there's a white spot. Why is there a white spot where it is? Why can't you see that? It's so weird. There, there's my wrap. It looks yummy and I'm gonna go eat. My loons are out there in front of the site. They've been calling like crazy. It's been like loon, loon, loon all the time. It's been great. The whole time I was setting up the bug shelter, they were going back and forth. It was awesome. It was a great welcome. I'm sitting here eating my lunch. <laughs> and I look up and the loons are like swimming towards my campsite. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure why. It looks like he's wagging his tail. That was really weird. It's his foot. Is that his foot sticking up? What is that? I 
I don't know what that is. There's like something sticking up behind it. I don't know if it's just a bent feather. See? It's his foot. Is that are you okay, buddy? I don't know how to fix loons. Are you okay? You look hurt. See? It's like it looks like it's its foot. Sticking out all weird. That's really weird. I've never seen that. See it? It's waving. It's waving at me. Thanks for visiting. I guess he's okay. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go back to eating my lunch. Thanks for coming by. Well, it's 1.30 and uh, just finished setting up my tent, taking my time and it's still only 1.30. <laughs> I got the tent set up, I just did my thermal rest and my pillow and my sleeping bag. I always like to be ready for bed, you never know what's going to happen just in case you get tired suddenly or you don't feel good. I got the bug shelter set up over here. Uh, I'm going to put that grill in there and use it as a table when I make dinner later. Yes, I know my tan tent is on a little bit of a slant. Um, the important part is where I lay down to sleep. Uh, the back part is not. So um, I actually laid down in the tent to check it um, because I didn't want to feel like I was falling down the hill. And it's actually really good there. It's just the front that's a little wonky. Um, that's about it. I'm not going to set up my hammock, I don't think, today um, or maybe not till later. Uh, it's still been kind of dripping a little bit on and off here. Um, so I'm just going to wait and make sure that uh, the rain is definitely gone. I don't want my hammock to get wet and then I can't lay in it. Beautiful day here on Craney Lake. I am in my glory. I am not going to lie. I am so freaking happy right now to be out here. I can't even... I'm sure you guys know because I, a lot of you are feeling it too. So, anyway, I'm gonna go find something else to do. The sun is trying so hard to come out. <laughs> I can feel its heat. Not that it's chilly out. It feels nice. Time to get some water. Well, fork you for leaving that in the lake. It is four o'clock and uh, time is just flying by. Um, I am having pizza for dinner. I am super excited because I love having pizza when I'm camping. Even if it's not on the fire, it's better on the fire. But even if it's not on the fire, that's okay. I just want this bag. I have brought my water bottle with me. And uh, that way this stuff can start rehydrating. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go back down there and keep reading my book. I'm reading stories about canoeing women. Uh, so this one's from 1904. And uh, it's pretty cool, pretty interesting stuff. I used to go canoeing and big dresses and corsets like because they weren't allowed to wear other things just insane this is the water that I um, used the Pyrenees for that is not enough <laughs> um, I set an alarm I drink out of the lark I just press the button so it takes about it's three minutes each cycle and I do it twice just to be sure so technically six minutes and I can have drinking water 
But then what I do is I put water in my Nalgene and I put my Pyrenized drops in it. And that takes an hour. And in the meantime, I just drink out of the Lark. So now I have both of them ready. All right, that looks like a decent amount of water. Okay, I'm just gonna put them right there. That way they're in the bear vault. Close it up. I have to say that I'm really impressed with the bugs so far. Um, they were insane on the portage, especially when I was carrying the canoe. I think I got a clip of that. They were just everywhere, and so loud. Um, but now that I'm out here, like even up there where it's sheltered, well, there isn't even any wind. So this is why I'm confused. Um, maybe it's just the open spaces. Maybe they're just bad in the forest right now. Um, Cause like I said, they haven't been bad at home at all. Um, I cut my grass the other day in a tank top and shorts without my bug shirt or my bug pants on, which is unheard of for June, right? In Muskoka, so um, I don't know. Maybe they just aren't that many here. That's what I like to think anyway. All right, I'm going back to my book. Hello. It's time to make dinner. It's five o'clock actually. I wanted to eat at five o'clock, but um, I was reading my book and then I got sidetracked. Anyways, I have the fire grate grill thing set up here. It's awesome. Um, I just put my place mat on it and I've got my stove inside my pot that I'm not using. Put a little teeny tiny bit of olive oil just in the bottom of my pan. And uh, I've gotten all the things prepared to make my pizza. Had a piece of cardboard with the pita so that uh, it didn't get like all messed up, but it fits really nicely on the bottom of the, um, the beer vault so uh, that worked good okay so I've got some salsa and I am going to use this as my red sauce I really like to do uh, my pizzas with salsa um, if I don't do uh, pesto pizza which I which is probably my favorite but this is like my second favorite so um, so I have got some salsa on there and uh, almost used a whole container I got everything ready to go so that this wouldn't take super long. Uh, I've already shredded a bunch of cheese and I did it on the cheesecloth and I thought it would be easy to dump it out but <laughs> clearly I was wrong. Um, I have this little teeny tiny cheese grater from the dollar store that I use. It's really great. Um, huh? Great. Just drop some cheese. Don't drop any food. Um, I chopped up my ham already because it's it started out as Hawaiian pizza. I was like, oh, I'll make a Hawaiian pizza. I made one of those out there. And I just dehydrated some pineapple um, recently, which was on a video that I just uh, published not that long ago. And um, I thought, well, I'll do ham and pineapple, which will be delicious, because I love, I love Hawaiian pizza. And um, then I was looking through my stuff that I dehydrated, and I'm like, oh, you know what? These mushrooms would be really good on it, too. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, these tomatoes would be good on it, too. So. Now I have mushrooms, tomatoes, and pineapple, and ham, but I'm still calling it a Hawaiian. Maybe we'll call it a fancy Hawaiian. <laughs> Hawaiian, a Hawaiian in a tuxedo. Other things. You gotta watch this. I put a little bit too much water in here. Um, basically what I'll end up doing with the, whatever juice is left, um, because I can't have a fire, uh, I'll probably put it in another Ziploc bag, put it in this Ziploc bag and seal it and then put it in another bag and then keep it in the bear vault till I go home. So um, I've done it before with like liquids like this and it's not really a problem. The pineapples seem really nice. Um, they look like they're rehydrated well. I don't think I'm going to use the tomato. Um, I don't really like the way they, I don't think they fully rehydrated or I'm not sure. I like to use them. I was going to use them in my tomato sauce this year. Um, when I make spaghetti, so maybe I'll just leave that for that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put a little thin coating of cheese on it, but you can see how beautiful it looks before I do that. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. I'm so hungry. Okay, here we go. I slide this baby in here and hopefully it doesn't fall. I'll try to hold the pan. I guess we'll do one with one hand and one with another. Okay. Pizza's in the pan. Here we go. We'll be ready in no time. Ooh, it's very, very dark in the middle. I have to do my outside browning thing again. 
<laughs> Sometimes you gotta do things. <laughs> Um, the bot, the middle part got really brown. I don't think it's burnt. It's just really brown. Um, but it's nice and crispy and it looks delicious. Um, I just turned it off. I put some foil on top and I just let it sit and I just kept checking it. Um, it took about five minutes or so. I'll take the first piece I cut. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Well, I started going around the other side of the island and uh, I saw somebody over there. So, uh, it's probably like the only two campsites on this whole lake that have people on it and we're on the exact same island. And it's not even that big. It's not even that big, so. Oh, anyway, cool. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.